This is a giant fried dough ball covered in sesame seeds. Many Chinese people love to eat these because they believe that the bigger the ball, the bigger your fortunes will be. This is what happens when a jellyfish runs into a bubble ring. This is called luminol, and it's the same chemical used to make glow sticks. Whoa. The Brazilian Air Force flew by this building and broke all the windows. Back in the 1930s, a German company made a tool that was specifically designed to draw dots in a straight line. Arm clicks into one of the teeth of the gear. It lifts up the nib off the paper. And it makes these perfectly consistent, even dotted lines. This small store flooded, but these people don't really seem to be bothered too much by it. I guess as long as you have cold beer and your friends, you don't really have to worry about anything. <laughs> This is what a feathered starfish looks like. In case you didn't know, it's actually possible to melt metal by using magnets and electricity. This is what a magical rainbow tree looks like. The reason why this tree has so many different colors is because the bark on the tree is constantly getting peeled off. The newest and youngest pieces of bark on this tree show up as green and the older pieces of bark show up as red, blue, or even purple. So what you got going on here are a bunch of little baby shrews biting each other's butts so they don't lose track of mom. Here's a mushroom that turns blue when you expose it to oxygen. Some guy found a raven that sounds like a corrupted mp3 file. Come on in. Come on in. You like bread? Yes. Come on in. All right. Okay, hang on a minute now. Hey, you got a big chunk there. Oh. Sea turtles love to eat jellyfish, so here's a sea turtle having the best day of its life. There's a remote, uninhabited island in Australia, and on this island is a little pink lake. 
The reason why this lake is so pink is because the lake is filled with salt. Because this lake has so much salt, the only animals that can survive here are little tiny microorganisms, and those organisms give the lake a pink color.